right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video, and finally we can bust out our girl Physical Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Um, so despite the fact that Super Saiyan 2 Kefla here is only a sub easy A, I, dude, this the other sub easy A's are like not even in the discussion with her, right? Remember, like. I think it's important when evaluating units, right, to compare them to, like, the same class of units. So, like, Tech Kale and Khalifa, I'm comparing them to STR Super Vegeta, you know, Int Broly, Videl, right, like, um, Trunks and Goten, those types of characters. That's who you compare this Kale and Khalifa to, right? Like, uh, LR Namek Goku, we compare to Full Power Freeza, UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Kefla, you know who we compare Kefla to? Sin Shenron, physical Sin Shenron, Tech Pycon, like, it's insane. She's like 80 times better than them. I think this Kefla is actually going to be pretty disgusting. Um, she's a defensive stacker. She's got a 50% chance to do an additional super, which is crazy. She's getting 20% attack and defense per orb, right? She's got chance to dodge. I Kefla, I think, is very good. Um, they made her strong. Now, at the moment, I actually am only one link away from having her done. The world, I, ha I hate so much when they drop a world tournament, like, right around when new units come out, because it just delays everything. I would have been, you know, balls deep into Kefla and her world tour, like, days ago, if not for the goddamn world tournament that I've had to dick around with, right? So, all right. Um, let's just go ahead and jump in. Uh, you know, even though we're one link shy, unfortunately, that's one of the links we're going to really be using here with Kale and Khalifa's leader skill. By the way, do Tech Kale and Khalifa, do they have the best leader skill in the game? I feel like, I feel like that's a discussion. Like, I, I feel like they're actually, like, up there. Say what you want to about this unit. I, myself, think their performance is pretty bad a lot of times. Um, they're going to get a lot of play. This is a unit that's going to be very good. Very useful when it comes to difficult content, right? Because um, the type of teams we can build are just outlandishly good. Okay. Um, so we have Kefla here. I'm going type neutral because I think Kefla is just that good. Can we get the six orbs? No, we can't. Okay. So one of the really annoying things about our girl um, uh, physical Kefla right here is that while she does get 20% attack and defense poor, which is good, she gets this extra 60% attack with six or more physical key spheres um, down here at the end right there. With this Kefla, and then of course tech Kefla, these two units, you're, dude, the damage they do on a turn like doubles when you get those six orbs. This Kefla, it's a little bit easier, I think, to get hers because it's just six orbs. Whereas physical Kefla, do we need six physical orbs? I just, I don't know. Um, I think I could probably do this. Can we get the six physical orbs, actually? Uh, no. Yeah, see, we can't. That's, that's five. It, stuff like this is gonna happen often. And it's like, like, I, I, we could actually get the six physical orbs, but I would then have to get rid of... No, like, well, yeah. Yeah, that right there. I could do that, but then we have to push Kefla off rotation, which I don't want to do. So, um, alright, we'll be able to get her seven orbs right here. So that's 20% attack and defense times seven. Ah, her defense is 132k. That's a bit low, actually. Um, if she doesn't get supered on this initial turn, we're gonna be good. But, I mean, if Kefla does get supered, we're dead to rights. What links does Kefla have active here? Battlefield Diva, um, War is Universe 6, Tournament of Power. Those are the three links Kefla has active. Um, I don't... We could run her with, like, SCR Kefla to really, like, activate a lot of her links and shit like that. I don't really consider SCR Kefla good enough to run a lot of times. I, like, just being honest, I, I don't. I, I don't. It, S, oh, that's good. That's good. SCR Kefla is not impressive whatsoever. Um, okay, so we took some damage here. So physical Kefla, she might take a little bit of damage right here. She might. Um, but the next turn we should get. Please double super. Oh, come on. That sucks. Ah, all right. Uh, we're not dead. We're fine. Because there is a Khalif on rotation. We took a lot of damage on this opening rotation here. Ay, ay, ay. Kefla only getting one super for us was not good. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Her, her performance here at the start was a little bit unimpressive. That, like, what she just did right there. I mean, that's her, like, that's like her 
I guess, basement with, like, a competent team around her. Because we didn't have support, right? There, there wasn't a support unit next to her. But still, like, that was a pretty, again, all things considered, I would say, unimpressive turn um, by Kefla. That, that, that wasn't... That doesn't make her look super good, what we just saw right there. Uh, let me see, like, how her defensive stack, like, how, how, how that looks, right? One super attack. Because uh, it's like, Kefla's going to be sick in long events. But, again, there's a lot more than just long events, right? You have this event, which can be... It, this could go either way. This could be super long, or this could go by very quick, depending upon what units you're using. Super Battle Road, Battlefield... I do think Kefla should be pretty solid in Battlefield, though. Um, with the orb changing, with the dodging, um, I, I think Kefla in Battlefield is actually a pretty solid option. But when it comes to Super Battle Road Sages, Kefla, unfortunately, she's going to be getting just molly -wop. Like, I, I, I don't think Physical Kefla is going to be good enough uh, in a lot. Well, I mean, I, okay. I don't. She's not going to be, like, a dominant force, right? Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Because, like, I don't consider this build for Kefla here bad. Alright, so she's up to 71k. We can just... I'm gonna leave this, uh, Kaelin Khalifa right there. Well, actually, wait. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them right there. Alright, so we're not gonna get the 6 orbs for her to get damage. But we are gonna get 11 orbs right there. Again, that's 20% attack and defense times, uh, 11. So, that's pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit this. Uh, what is her defense now? Yeah, okay, okay, that's, that's better, that's better, but, uh, she's an orb changer, man, or, um, she, she's a nuking unit, right? She is a prisoner of how many orbs she's going to get. It's like, you know, if, if we get Kefla, you know, 10 orbs, yeah, she looks great, but, uh, you know, I, in a lot of difficult stages, I just feel like it's not gonna be that consistent. Man, this, I was very excited for Kefla, and jumping into here, it's like, yeah, I... She does look like a sub EZA to me, honestly, I, I would say, right? Um, like 2.71 right there. The damage is not crazy unless she's getting the additional supers that proc. Because, um, like, yeah, which, and I'm getting cocked right here, right? Like, you know, it's a, it's a coin flip for her to get that second super. Um, and remember, she is defensive stacking. So it's like we go into, like, the legendary Vegeta event. And physical Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, she's going to destroy, right? And, like, the legendary Vegeta event and stuff like that. But um, this this wasn't a really impressive showing by her, I would say. Now we should be good. Now that she super attacked twice, it's such a shame. Because, I mean, she could have super attacked, like, up to six times from the first two turns. We only got her to super twice, which is really unfortunate. Uh, I'll do this right here. Um, one... Again, really crazy thing about Kale and Khalifa and their team is just like, 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 like we're, we're able to rock like all the, like the Tech Khalifa's STR Kales. This team is a defensive wall, right? Like we can't be, <laughs> we can't be touched with this team. I, I feel very comfortable going into difficult content with this team. I mean, a lot of these characters, they're definitely geared more towards longer events, but you know, depending upon if you've got, like, a full team of Peppy Gals, Tech Khalifa can still be crazy. She could still have very good chances to dodge. Um, Kale guards as long as a Khalifa is around, right? Um, so, like, you know, SCR Kale is, like, really heavily impacted by this Tech Kale and Khalifa right here. Um, unfortunately, we have Kefla on the off rotation. Because, like, if we fuse with Tech Kefla, right, they're going to share, I think, 6 out of 7. The only link she's not going to have active is Shattering Limit. Super Saiyan, Battlefield, Diva, Fuse, Fighter, Power Bestowed by God, Wars, Mirror, Six Tournament Power. We would have all those activated. Okay, so this is... This is better. Does she get anything from UI Goku? Just Shattering Limit. Okay. Um, so we were able to get what we needed right here. This is, this is actually going to be a pretty good turn. Her, I think we're going to see Kefla look way better right here. So she's up to 300k defense. Uh, well, actually, our health is very low. Oh, man. 364k? That is not good. I, Champa could kill us. I, I think Champa could actually just outright one-shot us. Um, we're gonna get support from UI Goku. Kefla will do good damage here if Champa doesn't just outright one-shot us, which I think he could. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, that's good. So, it's like, once you get the six physical orbs, 
then her attack shoots way up. Now, one more. Give me one more, please. Oh my god, Kefla, you suck. Are you ever gonna come through, dude? She could have looked so good. She could have busted out triple five million attack stats right there. But no, of course. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like, for everyone else, Kefla did three supers right there. Um, but then their UI Goku gets hit repeatedly. But for me, my UI Goku is invincible, cannot be touched. But like, my Kefla can't double super. My Gohan and Krillin can't double super. That's like the way it works for me, right? Um, let's see if we can get one more turn in. Let me see if we can actually get the Tech Kale and Kleefa to fuse into Kefla next turn. But like, look at the way we just sort of like turtled this event. Um, I, I would suspect that not only could you beat every stage in the game with Kale and Kleefa's team, uh, probably like fairly easily you could no item them all too. Um, now, I mean, pure Saiyan Extreme Subaru would probably not, but like, you know, like beat the stage, yeah. Um, I imagine Kaelin Khalifa's team, you probably could no item every single God Event stage as well, right? Like, like pretty easily. I, I think it would only be like pure Saiyan Extreme Super Battle Road where you wouldn't be able to like easily no item and just run in Kaelin Khalifa's team because their, their leader skill is so good. It's so versatile. You have so many options, right? Okay, so this is good. So we'll be able to get the fusion for Tech Kefla in here, which is really good because... Uh, we're, oh, are we going to get the six orbs again? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay. Th yeah, th okay. This work back... Back-to-back -back turns, Kefla should look pretty good right here. We're going to have her, I think, again, with six out of seven links active here, too. All right, so now we have our girl Tech Kefla out. So again, we have six out of seven links active. So physical Kefla should look pretty good on this turn. We're gonna be able to get 11 orbs as well. What is our defense now? 350, okay. Um, oh, we'll be able to get the six orbs for Tech Kefla too. Yeah, this, this was a golden turn right here. Uh, so now physical Kefla, you know, on this turn, she probably would have double supered, but she's gonna finish Chompa with this first attack right here. Um, but we could see how she progressively got a lot stronger as the event went on, right? Like, it's like, at first, you know, she wasn't really looking that crazy. But then we're able to get the orbs to work with us. You know, again, like, you, it's going to be common where she double supers. It, it's very realistic because her double super is a 50% chance. It's not 30. I've found that there is a massive difference between 30 and 50% chances for dodging and additionals and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be relatively often you're going to see physical Kefla busting out double super attacks and thus getting like double defensive snacks uh, and then just looking good. She's good. Um, it looks like maybe she's not quite as good as I was thinking hopping in. I'll definitely put a sticker on her and stuff like that too once I, I get her full level 10 links. Uh, still one link away. I mean, she performed well here, right? She just could have looked a lot better with RNG. Um, it, it's going to be very hit or miss if you're going to get those six physical orders. Orbs, and we saw the difference, right? You get those six physical orbs with her, and she's hitting like a train, right? But if you don't get them, you know, she, she her damage can be very mid. I think there's a big difference between a 2 million attack set and a 5 million attack set, right? Especially since Kefla could toss three of them out. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.